Breaking news. <laughs> right. You're a pro. Twitter. We, we have news that uh, Pasternak got on a plane out of Prague. <laughs> there may be some action there. Good to see you. Very good to be here. I'm going to the phone to the boat and I'm Take it away, kid. It's gonna look really good. Mm. <laughs> it's an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I think we all look good. <laughs> I reverse this so it looks like the Brock stuff. You just put the, the game sound by doing that. On what? The this? apple will turn that way around. Really? Should someone tell us? Adrian, she knows. She's, she's, she's working on it. Where's the pet Brock? It's always over at Pete's. Oh. <laughs> Gomes is shaking Who is that? sad. Shaking his head. Who is that? Ryan Gomes. 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 He played for the Celtics? No. Mm. Got traded, traded to Timberwolves. Traded to Minnesota, yeah. But Kevin got Hello, it. Hello, and welcome oh. to another edition of Grand Sinners Live. I'm your host, Scott Kerman. And I'm joined by my <laughs> usual cohorts, <laughs> Professor Russ Stevens, Uncle Joe McLaughlin, and Milton's finest, Tim Hoey, and he's the barber to the stars, Hollywood Pete McGilvery, where we have another great show for you tonight, and I didn't even know if it was going to happen. Let's get it started. First of all, that was a terrible game, right? Which one was Which that? One? One? The, yeah, Patriots. Red the Red Sox won last yeah, night. The Patriots were a terrible game, but then if you see the social media, the Facebooks and stuff... People are all saying how they're going to remain loyal to the Patriots after the loss. <laughs> are oh. you serious? Okay. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks for not jumping on the wagon after one loss. Imagine how many teams in the NFL, the, the, a loss is expected. Exactly. Right. Right? Exactly. It's just so unexpected here that it sends everybody into a tizzy. Yeah. And they're talking and Tom Brady needs to be And they be were 2-2 two and two and the last yeah, couple of times. No, no, no I, haven't, I didn't say that yet. I think I heard you say that. <laughs> All right, so I said last, what I did say last week was that we'd be cursing out the defense, right? And you were cursing out the defense. The front seven stinks. That's, that's not well, changing. Yeah. We didn't expect to be cursing out the secondary, though. Right, but you that felt like was it was a surprise. You felt like the secondary did not play well because I felt like Gilmore played smoked, really they well. Smoked for a punch a long time. Well, I thought right? McCourty saved a couple of them oh, more McCourty big played. Yeah, plays well, the with some plays. great individual tackles. Yeah, the McCourty second had, level McCourty. plays, Pete, because we don't have any linebackers. McCourty had a tremendous game. Yeah. No deep balls. Well, deep well, no, balls. the guys caught it what, 10, 15 yards out and then ran the rest of the way. Yeah. They weren't getting. Gilmore yeah, those went 50 yards. Right? What's that? Gilmore, 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 I don't know if it was Gilmore or Butler. No, because it was Gilmore. They, Gilmore yeah, yeah. stopped in his tracks and the guy yeah. ran away from him. Yeah. But after the game, the thing that was interesting to me was usually Tom Brady comes out and he says, you know, I have to be better. We all have to be better. The coaches have to be better. But he kind of said, we need an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Something's wrong with that the attitude the on this. It made you look at, whoa, who's he, he did talking everything. about here? He uh, played the, the full Peyton Manning throwing his teammates under well, the bus know, saying they quit. Well, I couldn't have scripted it better. Take the loss 
Get the uh, undefeated season crap off the table. <laughs> yeah. I but, swear to God, Belichick I, scripted it. But Nate Solder hasn't <laughs> said anything in six years, and all of a sudden he's coming out and saying the attitude on this team is no good. That's surprising yeah, to me. I, I think Pete's right in the sense that four or five guys come out and mention attitude. There was so, something going on. They, yeah, there there's something, something that they that, know that we don't know. Exactly. Well, you got a lot of new, yeah, new guys I, on that I, team. I, no, I thought he was, it, it was Tom Brady whining. And, and crying no. because oh, yeah, but so, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When five guys, if Brady were the only one talking about, there were five guys quoted in the paper the next day saying, "Step up, guys." We have an attitude problem on this team. Well, who, would the lead, just, who would the lead suspects be? Well, that's that the thing. Attitude? I know, but it's game one, guys. It's game one. Game one. You yeah. got to have a team develop. No, no, I'm not. I'm not suggesting that. I, I heard both of you guys say that's Tom Brady throwing his team under the bus. He was one of a bunch of guys who said we got an attitude. Yeah, problem. but he was the we first got, one to he say said, it. We have something we need to correct before anything fundamental. Why does he have to publicize that after why, the game? Who, why would why, you why, say that, Gilmore? That's, because that's, that's what he that's thinks. What you why do? would you say Gilmore? But you don't do no, that. No, no, no. Why, but you don't do that after why, game Why would you one? say Gilmore? Russ, you pointed at Gilmore with the attitude. No, I didn't. Well, I who did. Who said? Pete, you did. <coughs> I, why would Ely. you say Gilmore? Gilmore, I read it when Gilmore came here. I read an article about him. I would, if I had a daughter, I'd want her to marry this okay. guy. I mean, I can't believe that he'd be the guy but with Ely the attitude. Comes. Well, Ely comes. Ely gets traded for, Ely and then Ely has he was, an attitude. He wasn't there, he gets, though. I know, he but gets if he was still here, okay. we'd be blaming it on him. All right, him. so who's, who has the attitude? Is it Butler? I don't know. I, the, the, I, I mean, who has enough cachet? It refers that it's someone that's new, but that's not part of the Patriot way. That's what the impression Well, you, you do have a lot of new, not just the usual draftees and undrafted guys at the back end of the roster on special teams. You have a lot of new guys in starting positions on this team that came from the outside. Yeah. Not necessarily developed from there's, within. There's something that so they maybe they don't they haven't developed the attitude yet. They've only had preseason. Yeah, well and, one one guy you take a look at because um, we'll never know. But one guy you take a look at is Alan Branch, who basically every year skips all the OTAs. But he, but he comes in a Come, great shape, though. Yeah, so but, he got, towel, but he had though. a terrible game. Branch did. They could, they didn't get any pressure well, from the he, middle. He just got paid, too. Right. He got paid. Like, so okay, who knows? So you think with, it's defense, defense against the offense? No. You think no, when no, Tom no, Brady was up there, I'm not and he was saying that. Too, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I, I, what I'm saying is we don't know, but when four or five guys all say the same thing, either Belichick Got veteran to him in the guys. veteran guys saying we got to, we have to adjust our attitude. I think they got. Do you they think came that attitude soft. was overconfident? Yeah, I think it's well. They're reading. How can you not be overconfident every time you right. turn around? I mean, ESPN, who loves to bash the Patriots, they're even on board with the Patriots are the greatest things. Well, a lot right, of these guys, when they played for the Jets that's and when I, they I, played for the Bills, when they played for the Saints, when you got right. behind in the third quarter, that's what you that's did. That's why you I say the best thing that could happen was a loss. They did look to me. They looked like the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. I mean, they looked okay, but then they just looked like they the got The Falcons tired. put up a lot more fight than they did. They looked That's like they weren't sure. ready. But the Patriots quit in the fourth quarter. The Patriots yeah, they on down. both ends well, of the ball. Uh, on offense. Marcus Cannon nearly got Brady killed. Yeah, right. In offense, they, they quit too, and Brady was well, among them. Hang on, though. Quitters. One thing, though. Like, Marcus Cannon, he got beat for two sacks when everyone in the building knew that they were throwing the ball. Mm. Against one right. of the best no, yeah. defensive right. end rushers in the game. Right. So I, I mean, was I it bad performance or did they sometimes. give up? No, I mean, yeah. didn't have on a the bad same game. note, I've never seen Tom Brady standing in the pocket for 12 seconds with nowhere and to go. Still not able ball. to complete a pass. Yeah, I thought the O line played pretty well, actually, pretty respectable. I don't and too. whether Tom Brady just couldn't find an open receiver or they weren't getting open. Well, yeah. you know, they were only rushing three, so you got five offensive linemen on three. <laughs> well, it they, does that they, helps. They threw a good there. scheme, a good defensive scheme at him. Yeah, like you yeah. said, he was standing back there. You, when you give him five seconds, he's going to throw a completion. Yes. This is one of the first games where he still had nobody to throw to. With tons of time in the pocket. Which means there was no separation on the well, field. Well, that could bring yeah. us back to it's Edelman is his bank. Yeah, he no misses, Edelman. He misses him. Because yeah. Edelman yeah. will make well, a secondary move that Tom yeah. and him are he's, on the same he's page. He's going to have to adjust and find a couple other guys. Like he's done in the past. Well, you remember 2006. He was stuck with Rishay Caldwell and Doug Gabriel. The and was able to make it right. work. Since the yeah. beginning, he had um, how uh, Walker. And then he, tra you know, then he transitioned into Edelman. Right. I, I think it's a big adjustment for for Brady that there is no Edelman. No, yeah, but he's played without Edelman before. Right. Edelman, yeah. Remember his, his yeah, injury I prone. I mean, this is not like his first game he's without he's Edelman. A small guy. Yeah. Yeah. Even but. Gronkowski, you know, the touchdown to get called back. I mean, he threaded the needle there. So he and he had a good a guy on him all game. I I yeah. give him that. But yep. There was no separation at all. The guy was on him like a suit. So 
in the last 10 days, they lost Edelman and they lost, they had to put Mitchell, another guy they were no that doubt was, counting yeah, on, right? So, and they brought in a new guy, Dorsett. Amendola goes out in that game. I just think their offense is just going to need another week or two to adjust. They'll figure and it they out. Always and do. the bottom line is, it had, they converted two fourth and ones, right? Yeah. That's yep. a different game. Like, I know what Absolutely. happened in the fourth quarter. Especially quarters. the first one. You know what got me, Bull? That's, they, that's they, two they, turnovers. They're that's running two up turnovers. to the line, but Brady, I thought, was just going to do a sneak, and the referees jump in blow the whistle, and they threw the whole timing on that fourth down up. All of a sudden, Casey had time to get the defense they wanted in there. And I yeah, thought that the was I'm, I'm the not game. sure they ever planned on Brady. I was thinking the same thing, but I don't think they, it was ever in the plan for him to do the sneak. Well, we'll see. He wouldn't have got Even through. That was a wall. Forty there. times in the last. We'll see this years. week. We'll see this week if he's willing to do the quarterback sneaks yeah. this week. If he's not, then there's an issue there well, where no, Tom always... is avoiding contact. Well, no, that's oh, not Tom's Tom's call, dangerous to go no, back and throw a pass. It all depends on what kind of defensive line he's facing. Oh, basically. Tom can—he can call an audible in that line right there, and he can run his quarterback sneak. They do it all the time. And nobody in the line he's knows facing a four-three. It's guaranteed. He just passed. He just passed. Yeah, but, but teams he's don't do that anymore. anymore. Yeah, he's trying to get him something, you know. I know, but they did the same play to Gillis, Gillisy, the same, and mm. it worked out well, poorly that's why you both brought times. Him in. Well. To, Joe, uh, you were bringing up that Andrews is uh, 100 pounds lighter than the nose tackle. Yeah. I know, but he was 100 pounds lighter last year, too, and things went well. Yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't do well on fourth and short and third and short. They did terrible last year. They were like one yeah, when, they had, when they when they handed it to Blunt? No, they were terrible last year. Not quarterback Go sneaks. back and look up no the, way. the he's, stats. He's 92% in his career on quarterback sneaks. He Brady is, but they've stopped doing that. What they should have said, he's 40 years old. <laughs> he, they did it because you said, well, allow it. I think it's more physical punishment to go back and get sacked than it is to do a little two yard sneak. I don't yeah. think there's a lot Stick of that. That's a hot take right there. You, you gotta go back to You that. don't think that Giselle, that's, that's that was it all planned? You don't that think that was all planned? You think Giselle opens her mouth in an interview? And first of all, who interviews a supermodel anyway? You do know she's, anyway? you do know right. she's watching second right now, right? You think that that was absolutely planned that's to set it up. interesting. Right? That set it up that Tommy does not get tackled anymore. Look, he five, turtled five, up like Tony Easton wait, five times during the game, right? I'm trying to understand a exactly what you're saying. Tom doesn't. Tom, if Tom gets hurt, he gets a boo boo. Giselle's not going to let him come out and play anymore. They're watching That's right now. You know that. Works. They are watching Absolutely. right now. He, if the, <laughs> That's he, a good take. He goes home and he's like, because first of all, you can forget Tom come Brady. Ever get the craziest thing you no, are. Yeah. Where By is this way, coming from? Oh, it's crazy. Team Jimmy G. That's where it's coming it's from. It's absolutely you true. Mean, Giselle Baldwin is running this team. No, she Did runs Tom something? Brady and Giselle, Tom Brady runs the team. It's yes. crazy. She's, but but hang on. She's like that. Giselle Bunchen also went on CBS news yeah. and said my husband got a bunch of concussions last year. And they so have I don't know whether she's running the house or not running the house but it's a very interesting proposition to see how many quarterback sneaks well, Brady does this year. Just a conspiracy. No, no, but listen. Why does, how do you think it's Giselle gets on CBS news to go, Giselle, what do you have to offer? Are you going to be cold? Um, yes, I'm going to be clothed. All right, well then, give us something that That's you're going to say on the show. That's what she does for a living, model clothes. Talk. Give Crazy us something talk. you're going to say on the show. Well, I'm going to talk about Tom Brady's concussion. It's very interesting. Perfect. We'll have you on at 7.45, you okay? She, you think she needs to go on CBS? No, she doesn't. Then why was she on? She ha she was the messenger. She sent the message. Those two had some fights. <laughs> there may have been some lamps thrown across the room. She doesn't <laughs> want him to play anymore. Tommy gets hurt. This Tom, is done. The men in the, the, the white coats are I'm going to take no, him. No, that's not true. Second. And don't you ever be concerned that Tom Brady will ever play in another uniform because there's not a chance that Tom's going to tell Giselle we're moving to Cincinnati. Scott, Tom Brady, Tom Brady is a football player. Where does Cincinnati player. come from? Where Tom, does this come from? This I'm just telling you. This is it. Maybe she likes Tom's Cincinnati <laughs> style chili. It's all changed. Scott, you hit your head on the way in. No. I'm, 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 I'm with you. You agree with me. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. You don't, you don't even know what you're talking yes. about. He's yeah. a football I'm player. I'm the first one to call him crazy. Trust me. In two years doing this show, yeah. I, am the, I, am lined, <laughs> I, am, I am lined up to call him crazy. Not the craziest thing I've heard you say. See, because she just thinks that it's those little boys playing that little game. She could care less. She's made more money in her career, far more than any of those guys. Then, every, 
everyone on the Patriots team put together. Exactly. This is the guy, she dictates everything. This is a guy who loves to practice football, loves everything about football. There's no way that guy is going on that field saying, I'm not going to play this game the way I've played it my entire life. Did I don't you think watch how we played that game? Well, he had a bad oh, night. He's going to run the, the book guy, Pop Warner. Well, we're going to see, it. We're gonna see this week. I if think he's we got to practice from week to week. Yeah. How many, how many quarterbacks sneak to this break? No, by the way, if he, if he, if he doesn't quarterback sneak more than once or twice this year, then we got to take a look at what's going on. But another point, Russ, he did. He had many opportunities because guys weren't getting open to run during that game, and he didn't run at all. He well, never I took like one step forward. Well, that's no, 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 no. No, Brady has won many a games, many important games yeah, with Super his Bowl legs. As a matter okay, of fact, he had none. Time. He Strong, never was in a first fall. game of the year. His wife doesn't want him to run. No, his run wife doesn't want him. He, know, he, he knows. No, no, no boo-boos. Boo-boo no, no, means oh, he's way, way, way off the reservation. No, 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 no. <laughs> boo-boo means you're going to drive the kids to Lars Anderson for skating practice. That's how it works. And so he's going to play a conservative. Right, you watch. Move, let, we have to move on to the Red Sox. you going to... Before we get to the Red Sox, can we never, ever have Hogan run a, the effing reverse play again? What kind of play calling was that? It's like the old, I couldn't stand the one to Welk or flanked out there. It but we did worked. it like 50 times. Oh, right? the wide receiver screen to yeah. Welk. Yeah, he gained worked. a bunch of yards on the first one, right? So they kept going back to it. Like well, he gained about five years. They, they, right. they were getting desperate. They were getting desperate. They didn't yeah. have much. I mean, they they had nothing they had else. To pull it out of the yeah. Bag. They got surprised by the defensive game plan. Yeah. And well, Amendola they, going down. That threw a yeah. chink in it. They had to try. I, I mean, how long did? Why do we only hear about the the, the kid wide receiver being on eight week uh, injured reserve like ten minutes before the Mitchell, game? Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they were hoping he, they would be played. Because they was, know they'd be weak. But, in the, so uh, he goes from almost being able to play to being out for eight weeks. Yeah. yeah, because they needed they needed, they needed the roster guys. spot. Yeah, they needed the roster pro spot problem. All right, so let's do let's do game predictions uh, before we go. The Red Sox. I have the Patriots thirty five, the Saints twenty eight. Drew Brees will score points against this defense, oh, guys. Yeah. Uh, but the the uh, Saints defense looked quite porous, even worse than the Patriots. So I do have the Patriots getting their first win of the season. Joe. Okay, and I, I'll jump on the high score and uh, parade with you and. 39 to 31. Oh, there you go. Russ? Uh, I'm with Timmy that I think this might be the, the best thing that happened to this team this year. Gets a little bit of their flaws open. They know what to go to work on. Don't see them scoring a ton of points, 24-14. I think the defense will bounce back. All right. All right, I'm, I'm 28-14. Write that down because that's going to be the score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, I like 27-14 right around. Okay, all right. Although I'm still really shocked at that, at that last conversation. No, we oh, my God, because it's cutting um, edge. Because uh, I'm bringing something to yeah. you that you can't see the right hottest, now. And that's takes. why I'm in the crown. Take right a blue. Here. <laughs> okay, you watch. Wow. And, and seriously, boys, especially the guy to my right. <laughs> right. When I am proven right, and he's actually agreeing with me. When I am I proven right, you guys gonna all admit that I said this was true? I yeah, absolutely. Will all right, okay. Will not be right. Right. But it won't, <laughs> be. It won't be. All right, we're gonna go to the Red Sox, and, and that is truly a soap opera. Yeah. So we're not gonna talk about John Furrow being fired this week. I'm just, I'm, I'm giving that up. But what I will say is that when we do, and we will make the playoffs. That opening game, Xander Bogarts will not be in the starting lineup. And that will be huge. Because his wife won't let him play. He could be having well girl done, problems. Well There's no question that he has some issues. That's, off been, the field. that's been a theory of mine. He's been, <laughs> in, a, he's been in a funk yeah. for about a year. And now. can you imagine if, if Giselle was involved? He was with ripping that? the ball out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe no, but Rizzo. Would you agree that Xander Bogarts will not I love be the If angle? Nunez is yeah, healthy Nunez. and he's your shortstop, Pejoria is your second baseman, and arguably. A guy who is the best player in baseball the first half of last season will be benched for the playoffs this season. I, I, want, I so. want to pipe in here. I think his hand got hurt early yeah. in the season, so I'm not attacking this guy. I, I think he's a good player. I think he's got a lot of potential. I think that getting hit in the hand has affected his entire season. Uh, so I do agree. I don't think he will be in the starting up. I do agree with you, but I'm not willing to throw him under the bus as like, Yo, let's get rid of this guy. I think he's been playing with the bad hand. But can we admit right now that Xander Bogarts, though I you know I, I love him, is not an all-effort guy. 
He's not a guy. He he maybe get his, his body jersey language good. has never been you know uh, that false hustle always moving 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 like like PD say right. So well, somebody's got to go though. That's that's the thing. Yeah. you're trying to say right. But somebody's going to go Nunez in, the, in the lineup. You want that's what you want. Yeah. Right? But I want somebody's going to go in the off season for Stanton because we're getting Stanton. We because are. that whole sale thing. Remember yeah. when we kind of focus on stuff, we end up getting these guys right. Yeah. yeah. So my deal for you is Bradley. Erod, Xander, and a prospect for Stan. Now, take into account that we're taking this huge salary run, which means something in the whole trade deal. If we, would you do that? I probably would, but only because the Red Sox are going to get pounded on the salary front in the next two or three years. Once Betts, Bogarts, Bradley, all those guys come up, they're not signing all those guys. There's no way they're no. going to do that. So, do you say, do you trade a couple of years of a guy, maybe a year or two too early? to get a guy like Stanton. And then you know what you're going to pay with Stanton. Yeah, you're locked in for 10 years with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you but say, you know what you're going to pay. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what you're going to pay. Yeah. He, he's, he's still relatively young. His contract's going to take him until he's like 27, 28, uh, 37, 38 years old. He's going to be not good at the end of that career, That's but he can DH a, it. Yeah. He can DH in the American League. Well, yeah. we, like, we pay people to, to not even work anyway. Right, so. right, compared to Pablo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, before I forget... Our sponsor, Dante's Pizzeria. We oh, got to mention them. Yes. 415 Harvard Street. Um, make sure to come there. You guys enjoyed the pizza tonight, oh, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and the uh, try the eggplant. The highlight of my Wednesdays. Yeah, try you the did you have any? Yeah. Oh, okay. I Just, walked in with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and David will be joining us tonight at the Red Sox, and we're going to be yeah. at um, the, all of us at, at Fenway Park, in except for eight. except for Pete, because you know. I don't know. I think he sits in the luxury box seats, but we'll be there. So if you guys want to join us, um, so would you guys do that deal? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So that well, how about you a little, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Contingent, <laughs> Contingent upon them signing him to the long deal. Well, I think that would have to. Well, Stan's, Stan's already, already signed. signed. He's already oh, he's, he's uh, good to go. Yeah, yeah, he's signed. And then all of a sudden, because you need some star power on the Red Sox moving into next season, because I'm telling you, they're not going to win the World Series. There's no question. The Red Sox are going to have some tough times selling tickets next year. You think? Oh, absolutely. Don't you think with this Why? coming? Because there's no buzz in the park. As, as How about they're, they're winning? It doesn't matter. There's no there's no um, immediacy to go to a Red Sox. A lot right of that's right no big poppy. They that lack, was right. always Tommy's right. coming back. They're saying today. Yeah, that's he, the worst thing they could do. Yeah, but he's coming back as a guy who's just gonna, yeah Johnny Pesky. Oh he, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be Ted Williams. Or he's gonna be you need guys like the three outfielders to kind of come up, and if yeah. Poppy's presence is there. They're but does any one of those that. guys strike you as having real, real star power? Like real big charisma, maybe bets. Mookie, maybe, Mookie's I, he's maybe the first bets, one that comes to mind. But like real superstar power. I think Ben Attende. Yeah. The, I, right. I think as far as the whole girls, you know, <clears throat> jersey yeah. kind of thing, Bruins thing, where everybody has a Ben Attende jersey. not too jersey. many guys at 5'9", five, 5'10", five, like who – I'm talking about the, the, the big time, like high-end superstar player. No, we don't have it. We don't sale, have it right now. That's why sale, sale is right. But he pitches one every five games. That's right. Right. And but I have to be honest with you, we've been in the ballpark when Sale has pitched. There hasn't been great buzz. It's not a Pedro buzz. Yeah, it's not an El Teante, Pedro, that kind of buzz. Well, you know, but I mean, just for collectively, yeah. they're winning games. You want to? What do you want to do? You want to sell it? Get yeah. Spring Stanton in here at the at the cost of what? Look, you need star power to bring in. They, the I don't think they can survive. The I don't think they can survive. I don't think this is sustainable that they can they can win as much as they have this year without hitting home runs. I think being in the bottom five right. of the league, well, uh, it's yeah. too hard to score runs. But you mean star power like Kevin Millar? No, no star power like a Stanton my, my because they're out there. They, no, but I mean in the past, besides Poppy. Well, I mean, you know, well they had Manny Ma Ramirez, Manny Ramirez, Big Ramirez. Poppy. Guys that weren't uh, stars like Mike, Mike Napoli that could hit your Kurt home Kurt Schilling was a star. Yeah, yeah, but now you're looking at pitchers. You're, you're we, you're you just at said Sale wasn't the guy because he plays every four days. No, Sale just doesn't create the buzz. He should, but he doesn't. Pappy was mega star. He That's was right. Like the bright shining light yeah, but after, Bethlehem. Yeah, but after eight years. He was Tom Brady. No, but after yeah. eight years. No, yeah. after 2000. He was Bobby Orr. What other team has a big pappy? Yeah. Who in this league would you put on big pappy? Set? But we well, had Manny, too. <laughs> you can't yeah, tell me. Yeah. We yeah. had maybe Man arguably one of the top five. Bad. I mean, yeah, but, personality level. But that's, yeah, he was a personality. But you stopped, right? you know, so you're flicking what, through the channels and Manny was up, you stopped him. That's watched. exactly right, yeah. Jimmy. So the question is, is there anyone on the Red Sox right now who, when you're flicking through the channel, you stop 
that you make I sure you watch every, every event. No matter what was on. For, for Ramirez. Yeah, Devers. Saw, and then Pappy and Devers after. has yeah. been the only guy this year because he was new and he started off. And, I, you know, I agree. He's yeah. the only one. He's, like, I, Mookie's a great player. A great player. He's not a, I got to stop and watch Mookie. Yeah, Mookie you're doesn't right. want to be that guy either. Right? Yeah, you're right. You know what, Scotty? You, I, think I you always joke there. with the boys when we're at the game. I said, yeah. you know, they want to go. I said, all right, we'll go right after Big Puppy's next yeah. up at bat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. <laughs> and then you're right. And that's this That whole year. pack I mean, is to yeah, change. Yeah. As soon as he strode in from the on-deck circle. Yeah, the lights <laughs> went off. Everybody's phone. He could, the, the sound, the sound yeah. volume went up about four notches. How many people Everybody are on there that can do that, though? Yeah. Yeah. Very few, people. but Giancarlo Stanton can. Yeah, he's right. going to hit 60 Aaron home Judge runs. Judge does it too. Right. Yeah, yeah he did in the first. He's going to hit more home runs than Poppy ever did. But remember, we're the Boston Red Sox, and we're one of the few teams that can afford Stanton, and that's why that's you can deal. have this conversation right. and, and can put him in the mix. That's, that's exactly you know? right. <laughs> 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 I know. I call it Section Eight for nothing. All right, so we made a mistake, and I was just screaming for the Rich Hill extension. <laughs> After the first Milton, few games, Milton's Milton's own Milton's own. Own. That's right. that was the only one, you know, with my Rich Hill uh, jersey and, and cleats. Um, but we can't make the same mistake with Doug Fisher. Here's a guy that is still, I think, 32, 30, 32 years old. He's so going he's, tonight. Yeah, he's a guy that has proven enough that we need to sign him to a two, three-year deal, on right? Fire, man! This guy, he comes in, gives his one run up, and then he just shuts them down. Yeah, the thing to watch. You yeah. know what I'm amazed at? How long his legs are? Yeah, I think my he's TV's broken. Bone, right? He's yeah. like six it eleven. Looks like, it looks like he has giraffe legs on. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I want to say he's six eleven. Are we getting a little too talking? excited about this guy? Doug I, I, I think Pete's right. Let's uh, tone he's, it down. He's, he's, just a bit. A, he's having a nice run. Let's he's give him that. No, but, but, but we saw a Rich Hill. That you know, you got to. His ERA is still like four. Yeah, but hang on. To Scott's point, Hill came in, pitched great. Red Sox let him go for nothing. Nothing. And he's been one of the top ten pitchers in the National League the last couple of years. You learn from that. And you, you gotta know, learn look, from that. And these guys totally. are key. Where, where would be? So he's your guy under the lights in the playoffs. Maybe you got to. I put so the big I mean, question. Be, who you, would you start, Porcello or, or yeah. Fister right now? I would start Fister right now. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, Porcello be on the roster. Oh, right. Porcello, <laughs> be on the roster. <laughs> who would you start, yeah. Erod or, or Fister? Erod. You would start Erod instead of Fister, Fister right really? now. Oh. Well, if you're Fister's starting Erod, right. which is understandable, then you literally have to have Fister waiting. I'd to like to see who is fifth playing. or sixth inning. That's Maybe, how. Maybe you know a lefty power pitcher be the guy. Here's the problem with Erod starting Erod is that you're just throwing three lefties at a team. One, two, three. Yeah. Right. Erod just doesn't know how to pitch. Because it's got to be Sale, Pomerantz, and then Erod. You may be better off throwing Fister in there. Well, I think Pomerantz is your second starter. I think yeah, he's, he's definitely. Yeah, he's earned it. Yeah. And I think um, Erod or Fister is your third, depending. If you're playing the Indians, obviously you're going to pitch yeah. Fister. Porcello does not make the roster. I don't want to be the one telling him, but he's Imagine not making the roster. Imagine the award winner to that. Weird year. insane. Really but weird Porcello year. has no role on the uh, playoff roster. They're not going to start him, and yeah. they have a, bring him enough relievers that they can use oh, him. Then he'd, re he'd really blow it up. Give all the home runs he's given up nine to nothing after three innings. That's the guy you bring. Yeah, up. No, but that's not how you you create I know, a playoff I know, I know, roster, right? I know. Yeah, but Fister, you know, we're talking about him like he's our savior. Well, sounds. no, I oh, take Pete, him over Porcello right now. Pete's been kicking butt. Put him on the roster. No, I get that. I get you that. You have to ride these guys, especially sinker ball pitchers. I mean, these guys can have nice I'm runs for a couple of months. He's like looks unhittable the portions of the game. We'll set him off one last time tonight. So I read. <laughs> late today, that, 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 that looks like Price is going to be in the bullpen for the playoffs. Yeah, no, that's a joke. You're not, that's no. a joke. That's not <laughs> happening. Three things that's late today. No, no, no breaking news. Wait, today. There's, a, there's a vein no, in this. No, breaking neck. news from the Grand Center's <laughs> live desk. Um, David Price will be shut down for the rest of the season. Four, that's seven it. pitches today. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be, a, he's gonna be, in the, he's gonna be pitching relief in the playoffs. I it's hope all you're, part of the yeah. plan. Oh, in, in what? Like... Yeah, he's gonna come in look, seventh you know inning. What? Scott, they're gonna bring this guy in in the playoffs. He's gonna be pretty good for two innings, and then everything's gonna be forgotten about Eckersley. Oh, so I think he could end up being the Red Sox playoffs MVP. Oh my God! Seriously, oh. he can be Andrew Miller. David Price, all he is is yeah. our Pablo oh, Sandoval. And Tim Wakefield's coming down from the broadcast. Exactly. I'm predicting he's our Andrew Miller. Yeah, right. Mark my words. And Big Poppy's gonna come back to be DH. All right, boys, that's our show for tonight. 
right, all right. Two gotta fast. thank the boys. Gotta thank everyone behind the scenes. Of course, the lovely and talented Adrian. Please check us out on our website at thegrandstanders.com and tune in next week at 6.30 for another edition of Grandstanders Live. I'm your host, Scott Kerman. Have a great and happy night. There's a point to what you were saying. I was telling you, you listen. <laughs> <laughs> the elephants are in town. Yeah. Here comes the circus. <laughs> <laughs>